on the show. David. How are you? I'm good. Hello, David. How are you? I'm not bad at all. Okay. So you're in L.A. right now? Yeah, where are you? Uh, I'm in uh, Toronto. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's been pretty humid, but today it's, it's all right. <laughs> Actually, it's been funny. Just before you call, I was um, watching some fight scenes of you and uh, Cynthia Rothrock from a little oh, while ago. Oh, my God. Now, that must be like 20 years ago, dude. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, well, I mean... To be perfectly honest, I mean, it doesn't seem like you've changed very much in that time, though. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I got those better looking, man. Well, oh, oh, no, no. Well, well yeah. <laughs> yeah, I sure you still look, you still look really young. You still look really young. You still look like you're in your mid-20s. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for lying. That's really sweet. <laughs> okay. Well, let's uh, get started here. Okay. So, um, uh, okay. How, how did you become involved with the, the Mummy 3? Did you audition for the role, or were you referred by someone else? Uh, well, I was actually filming in Prague when I got uh, a call from Rob, uh, from my agent, and said, Rob Cohen and needs to send you this letter and would like to talk to you afterwards. And I knew who Rob Cohen was because, you know, I've seen his movies, and particularly um, I was a great admirer of his work uh, that he did with uh, Dragon. Right. And I thought, well, you know, this guy has got great respect for our culture and is able to uh, tell the um, story of a very iconic figure, you know, someone that we we love from from China, from Asia. So I read his note, and it was really, really, really sweet, saying that you know he was doing the Mummy Three, we're taking it to China. There is this role, and she's very integral to my film. Uh, she's the the sorceress. She's the one that. Uh, you know, transfixes uh, the emperor and transforms and curses him and changes him into the mummy. And I cannot see anybody else except you playing this role. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was, you know, so we got into a, um, a conversation on the phone, you know, because he was, I think, already just beginning to start working in Montreal or, or L.A. And I was in Prague filming. So we couldn't meet up um, because for me, apart from understanding what the, this, this character is about, is uh, who I'm working with. I feel that I need to talk to the director, you know, look in his eyes and see what kind of a dream he wants to realize. Um, but even on email, you know, um, he, he sent me the script and before I even sent him you know, the notes of you know, certain points that didn't make sense to me or whatever. He was replying my notes. Okay. So from the word go, we had a, a great sense of a rapport. Okay. And then, you know, I'm also a fan of the Mummy series. And I thought, well, to be in, involved with a director who, who knows so much and has so much respect for our culture, to take it there, be part of an amazing franchise, and then Jet Li would be in the movie, too. It's like, okay, now what is so, why would I say no? <laughs> There's just no reason anymore. Because plus, you know, Ziyuan, the character, she was magical. You know, it was a character I had not played. Um, although I then knew that the role was not big, but she was very important in the sense that you felt her presence and um, why she was there, the emotional arcs in the film for her um, was quite powerful. Okay. And what was it like working with um, uh, Brendan Fraser? Oh, he's a dreamer. Yeah? He's charming as hell. Oh, my goodness. He's Canadian too, right? Uh, he's not. I think he is. I think he has dual citizenship. I think he was born in Canada. Oh, well, I tell you, you Canadian boys are very charming. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we, 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 we know you worked with Jelly a couple times before in, uh, well, in Fearless and in Twin Warriors. What was this this time? Uh, in Tai Chi Master. Tai Chi Master, sorry. Yeah, Twin Warriors is the DVD name. Ah, <laughs> that's the reason why. Yeah. yeah, bloody hell. He cut me out of Fearless, and in this movie, he kills me, so. Oh. <laughs> is my brother and I'll say, hey, Jed is my sister. So we're very tight. Okay. We have a great relationship going there. Okay, so you're, you're good friends and that's off, off the set then. Yeah. Yeah. That was too bad. I was really looking forward to seeing um, uh, your, your part in Fearless and then a DVD copy came out. I'm like, how come Michelle Yule's not there? <laughs> <laughs> I know. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, so in, in this movie, like, this is the first time that you actually get to fight Jed Lee then. 
Oh yeah. Well, you know, we were we were always battling from the same side. So this is the first time, and it was very funny because you know you you know how we have shooting schedules and things like that. And on the shooting schedule, there was always this thing. I was reading, and I go, "What the heck is this?" You know, the fight the whole world has been waiting for. And so you know, you you cross reference, so you seen what 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 what, what. and then I realized it was the fight between Jed and myself. Oh, I thought it was so sweet um, of our of our crew. Um, so they were interested to see you know how we would deal with each other. But fighting with Jed is easy because you know you are very confident of the fact that he's great at what he does. He's very accurate. He knows his moves. He knows how to dodge them. He's not going to suddenly surprise you with, uh, you know, he knows how to stop. So it was, and it was crucial because in this in this fight that we had, it was really um, all out, you know, with the two swords. There was no whole spot. There was no, none of those little fancy cute moves. It was every shot, every hit was supposed to take your head off. So, okay. To be fighting with someone who is so skilled. Now, did you do a lot of stunts in this movie, or? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, it's a lot of stunts. Every, all the things was all in that fight scene. You know, and and we're so used to when we're in Asia, a fight scene like this, we will probably be doing it for about a week, and there, or you know, ten days, and we didn't do. So I was like, no, 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 come on, we want more. And Rob was like, don't worry, we do it in Mummy 4. <laughs> <laughs>